Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of What the JavaScript. This video will be focusing on developer tooling with ESLint and Prettier. So we have created this package ESLint config fastlint prettify and it contains a lot of ESLint and Prettier rules into a single installation so that whenever we need something to set up in our new project, all we need is a single command. So uh, I'll attach the GitHub link in the description. So this package includes ESLint, Babel ESLint, it includes Prettier configuration, it also includes uh, React rules for ESLint, also includes hooks, and this is actually based on uh, ESLint config Airbnb, which itself is based on the JavaScript style guide from Airbnb. So this is mostly sensible style guide, but we can also add overrides in our own package. So installation, like we, we only have to run this single command and you'll notice that I am adding a hyphen E flag, uh, which will install an exact version of this package so that we are, uh, we can pin that version in our dependencies. So that's how we mostly install our packages in production and usage wise, all we need is an extends key in the ESLint RC file and specify the fastlint prettify, which is the package name. And if your package starts with ESLint config, which in our case, it starts with ESLint config, then, then you don't need to specify the starting part. And regarding Prettier, all we need to do is have a single file, uh, a .prettier rcjs file in our project root, and then require this package and export it in the module. Uh, I'll show you a project sample after this. And alternatively, we can just specify this prettier configuration in the package JSON itself. So this is a bit more cleaner approach. And this also exposes ESLint and prettier scripts in, in, our, in our project. So we can directly use them without needing to install them. So let's look into a project. So this is the project and in order to uh, build your own rules, uh, all you have to do is create some rules for yourself. Uh, in our case, I have created this file which contains this giant object and these keys are mostly taken from ESLint itself. So you can find these configurations in the ESLint docs. And for our case, uh, we have added all the, all the plugins and all the paths all the parser rules that we need. So we have included Jest, Prettier, and also added some rules uh, that we mostly use. Uh, so you can actually create some sort of package for your own organization or for personal use as well to cut down on installing all these packages in across all your different projects. So all you need is a single linting and Prettier rule package to manage everything. So this module will be exported from here and in this ESLint config fastlint prettify package, uh, you just need to export this single module. And let's look into how we are using this. So uh, I have this package that I'm working on uh, and here uh, let's look into the package JSON. So I have added this as a dev dependency and regarding Prettier, I have read a key here called Prettier, which refers to this ESLint config fastlint prettify slash Prettier module. And if we look at the uh, or ESLint config package, uh, we have a Prettier.js file here. Uh, and all it does is take a Prettier config, which in our case is this file here. And this contains all the rules that we mostly use. And this package exports this module. So pretty simple, uh, simple usage going on here. And here, so one advantage of this, this thing is that you can even add custom rules over here. So let's say uh, I'm using uh, this ESLint package in, in a different project here. And let's say I want to add some console logs here. So console.log, let's say hi. And so Air, Airbnb spec, spec actually uh, doesn't allow you to have console statements. 
but let's say th this is a node node module and uh, let's say i i need these console logs here so i can actually add my custom rules here to override this so let's say uh, no console and i can actually turn this thing off and yeah uh, there's so our ESLint warning is gone now uh, and this way we, you can pretty much customize these to your needs and still have something that works for a majority of your packages so give it a try you don't necessarily need to use this package itself uh, so you can fork it and create something of your own so, uh, some configuration that works for you and your team so yeah give that a try and stay safe and stay tuned for the next episode take care